Good morning, friends. Today is Eastern, Yefarenj Eastern. Uh, Ethiopia, we celebrate Easter on different uh, days. So I don't really celebrate it, but my friends do. So we're gonna go for a brunch and celebrate. And I like food and I like brunch. So works out great for me. And then we're gonna go to Bali Safari and uh, have a great day. Let's go for a brunch. Order one of these. Thank you, Father. Making my salad. Ready? Yeah. Enjoy. Yay, thank you. Barbecue oh, sauce. Oh, so cute. Hello, ladies. I'm just uh, checking your decoration. So pretty. You took a lot of time decorating, yeah? <laughs> Are these eggs real? Oh, it's empty. No. They're empty. Ooh, you got the chocolate fountain. Little Madeleine. It's oh. very cute. You got little muffins. Oh, what's here? Make crepes. Yeah. Right here. Mm. I think I'll stick to this one. They have 12 type of ice cream here. Mm. Over here. I got myself some mint chocolate cake and uh, uh, passion fruit sorbet. Oh, look at this cute uh, bunny made out of uh, flowers. <laughs> What do you do for a living? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. This is a beautiful Eastern. Do you know anything about Eastern? Huh? The Easter Bunny. What do you know about the Easter Bunny? I know that the Easter eggs are yellow inside. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> do you know what, what does it have? Do you know if it has anything to do with the Christian Easter? I'm a Muslim, I have no idea. Uh -huh. I already have a video about this in Amharic, so if you don't understand in English, uh, there is a video in my channel, in this channel, uh, an Amharic video of this while I'm making coffee ceremony, I was telling my family about this story, so you can watch it there. But I asked many friends uh, if they know about this, uh, nobody knew, and lots of friends also asked me. Um, uh, so I guess I wanted to make it in English so everybody so everybody can uh, know about it So we just finished our Easter brunch now We're gonna drive for an hour all the way to Bali Safari So we can have a really nice afternoon with some animals and then when we get back I will tell you all about the Easter egg and Easter bunny and all of that good stuff If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, like, share, and comment, and enjoy the video! Bali Safari is a conservation center for a thousand species of animals. It's not a place when you think about Bali that will pop up your mind, but it's definitely one of the places that, especially if you have kids and you're lovers of animal, to go and spend the day and get to be with the animals and the area and the place is really nice, very relaxing and spend a beautiful day here with these beautiful and amazing animals. And if you're also looking for a different type of accommodation, they also have a resort where you can stay there and be woken by some giraffes and just watch everyone from your windows. You can also have dinner or lunch in the restaurant where you will be watched by lions while you're dining. Eastern is a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ after being crucified 
uh, and the cross and he uh, rose up to life after three days. Mamos, it's a Christian holiday. But we see all of this, you know, bunny and um, eggs and all of these and coloring and children playing all over that stuff. It makes no sense. It's like just like Santa Claus. Santa Claus have nothing to do with birth of Jesus Christ. And you might ask yourself, hmm, what's happening here? So I'm here to tell you why, my friends. See, even here in the safari park is Eastern. With the Easter bunnies. East, before Christianity and before uh, all of this arrived to Europe, uh, there used to be pagans. So they have their own pagan gods and in the pagan religion there is many types of gods. There is the god for the sun, there is the god for the water, for the sea, for the tree, for I don't know, for everything. So the Easter bunny and uh, the egg represents a god called Ostre or Ostra. I'm probably pronouncing it really bad, but here is how it's written. Ostre is a spring god. Uh, she is a representation of springtime and fertility and having more life. And she was symbolized as bunnies or eggs because, you know, bunnies and eggs, you're like, uh, bunnies are mammals, they don't lay eggs, but bunnies are a good symbol of fertility because they you know they do their business and they get lots of babies in their lifetime so <laughs> they are a good example of fertility the same thing goes with eggs and eggs are a symbol of fertility as well because from eggs you 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 know you get chickens and all types of other types of you know situations come out of the egg so they also represent fertility and life and all of that good stuff also spring brings life because in the winter time especially in europe everything dies you know like the trees don't uh, get fruits or uh, flowers or anything like that's just darkness and when you come to the light to the springtime there's more sunlight there's more life there's more flowers and fruits and very colorful so they will celebrate the springtime uh, the day of osiatre even the name Eastern comes from her name. So when the Germans uh, went to America and took this uh, uh, holiday and this uh, way of celebrating, it, it became integrated into the Christian holiday. And as America takes uh, over a culture, so, so does the rest of the world because they integrated in the movies and the commercials and all of these things. And now everywhere in the world, people celebrate uh, Eastern or supposedly a Christian holiday, the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Sunday uh, by putting uh, these Easter bunnies and colorful eggs and all of this good stuff. Another analogy that I found out is that also the Christians represent, uh, they use the eggs um, to represent uh, this holiday because they would break their fast because it also represented life because uh, Jesus Christ uh, uh, represents a new life because Jesus Christ died but he rose from the dead uh, meaning that it was a new life so eggs give life and at the same time after they break their fasting especially the orthodox Christians after they break their fasting they would eat the eggs so with this became eggs included in the tradition many many things but to me it makes more sense the um, osiatre because uh, we reach into things too much just to make it relevant but it's really what it comes down to really is that it was a celebration of a pagan god and to make people accept something and to leave their old ways of doing things you have to integrate it to the new uh, things which was the new religion for them was christianity so they had to integrate it somehow and but they can't really make people stop doing or stop celebrating the springtime so they let uh, this um, holiday stay and just give it a different meaning or a different twist as the time goes by because there was also something that i read that um they were seeing the bunny as um, Mary or the Virgin Mary because the Virgin Mary was not touched, but she still gave birth, she still gave life. And the bunnies are very fertile, so it's kind of similar, but it doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, the bunnies need somebody also to, you know. So, 
anyways so yeah that's what i found out whatever which one of these you want to believe that's up to you but i'm just sharing what i read and what i found out about all these the bunnies and and all of this stuff in the eastern holiday and people are so used to it they don't even question what it is about or whatever we're so used to seeing this and it's just a normal thing now and with time uh, goes by it just became like something cute that to, uh, for the kids to do and uh, something uh, cute to do so just you know integrate integrated more coloring of the egg integrating more candy and chocolates and yeah it just became something cute so every year now on easter time people still keep doing what they were doing back then but except now we don't really understand why we do it and uh, we have chocolates and candy and all of that cuteness into it so yeah that's why those situation exist my friends and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today like share comment and subscribe and see you in the next video and happy Easter. And if you're celebrating Osiatra as she is, may happy Easter to you too, my friends.